Hi friends, this is Miss Marnie. I am a teacher in the second grade classroom and I have gotten a book from the church library from Mrs. Liarity's office that she thought would be perfect for a, a little video. It's called Binkle's Time to Fly. Look at the uh, drawings, they're very beautiful. This book is written by Sharmilla Collins and Carolina Raby. Open it up. Look at the beautiful illustrations. Go back. Binkle's time to fly, and I think that might be Binkle. Let's see. Binkle was waiting. First, he was an egg. Then, he was a hungry caterpillar and then he was in a cocoon. But what he really wanted to be was a butterfly with big, beautiful wings. At last, the day came. The sun was shining and its warmth gave Binkle strength. He pushed and pushed and cracked his cocoon. And out he came to say hello to the world. But, when Binkle opened his wings, they didn't work. They were weak and pale and silvery, wispy and unfinished. They had a wing shape and a wing frame, but only a few strands of wing. The holes instead of color. And they would not and could not let him fly. Binkle's heart was full of sorrow and disappointed dreams. His fragile wings shimmered in the pale moonlight. But what could he do? He slunk away and hid under a leaf, unhappy at being different. Two crows came along to see if Binkle was worth eating but they stared and laughed at him instead. There isn't much to eat on him, they cawed, and they flew away. But then two butterflies, who had been caterpillars with Binkle, came to find him. We will help you, they said. Binkle crept out from behind his leaf. How could they help? First, the butterflies found a friendly bird to carry Binkle to the zoo. There, they found silkworms munching on mulberry leaves and spiders busily making their webs. Please, will you help us, the butterflies asked. The silkworms and spiders were glad to help. The silkworms spun fine silver silk thread, and the spiders wove the threads into Binkle's wings to make them strong. Then they asked the bees to inject them with all the colors of the rainbow in wild and intricate patterns. Binkle stayed very still as the butterflies fluttered above, and at last the work was finished and the silkworms, spiders, and bees admired their handiwork. Oh, it's amazing what we can do if we all work together, they said to one another. I can't wait to see it. But Binko still had his eyes shut. Look at him. Open your wings, Binkle, they called. Binkle took a deep breath. And very, very slowly, he opened his wings. His heart was full of hope and longing. His wings felt heavier and stronger as if they might let him fly. Binkle opened his eyes. <sighs> the wings were magnificent. They were strong. There were no holes, just woven silk threads with bold and beautiful colors.
I am different from all the other butterflies and I always will be, said Finkel. But I don't care. All I want to do is fly. He thanked his new friends, the butterflies, the bird, the silkworms, the spiders, and the bees. And the butterflies rose into the air, fluttered above him. Come on, Binkle, they called. It's time to fly. Binkle tested his wings, opening and closing them carefully once, twice, three times. Then with the silver of his wings glinting in the sun, Binkle rose up into the air and flew to join his friends. Look. How wonderful. All those other animals, bugs, helped Binkle with his wings. And then Binkle got to fly. Wasn't it nice that they could all work together? and help their friends. I hope you really enjoyed that story. I did.